In this demonstration, we're going to look at some of the reports that are available, plus take a look at the management dashboard. Now, so far in our demonstrations, we've seen how to execute a release, and you can see that in this particular case, we had this ELK system initial release. It's already executed. We had two different phases for it, but really only one application involved in that particular release. But I should be able to now go into my reports and to see what is the release state and what's planned for that application or other applications. So let's go have a look. Under reports, we have an application report and a content report. Let's look at the application report. In the application report, this is the application pipeline report, which as I said, tells us a couple of things. One is it tells us when was something last deployed and into what environment, and when is it scheduled to be deployed. So for example, right now we don't have anything scheduled for the ELK system, but we do have it deployed recently. So let's go have a look. We're gonna add the ELK application to the report and see what's happening there. All right, so on February 25th, which is today, we deployed into the QA environment and we can see which version of the app and what its current state is. And so we deployed into QA and we deployed into the prod environment. And because we have nothing else scheduled, there's nothing else here to see other than, than those. All right, so that's fair enough. I can rebuild this report then by looking at other applications. Now, financial services, we have planned, but not yet executed. Well, let's have a look at financial services. And I can see that uh, in one case, I have deployed this into the PRD environment on a certain date, which was February 16th. But now I have another planned deployment into these various environments on these dates. And in our last demonstration, we looked at which dates in the future were we planning to do those deployments. And so this is when those are scheduled to be done. And I can see how many deployments are scheduled, which environments they're scheduled, what dates are they scheduled. So this gives me a very nice overview of what we have done and what we're planning to do. Now I'm not limited to one release at a time. I can look here at other applications related to this. So here's the financial services was just the first one, but we also have the financial services ATM application and the financial services reporting application. They're all a part of this system. So let's add those as well. And this gives us an overview, not of a single application, but of all the related applications that go along with this. And we can see exactly the same kind of ideas now about all those different applications. Now this gives us a nice pipeline report per application. The other report that's available is the content report. And here we can select a particular release, in our case, the ELK system, a particular application, which in this case only included the ELK system, but we'll apply the filters. And it shows us then which content selections were deployed as a part of that particular release. So I don't have to go dig into the release itself. This gives me the ability to see as many as I need to find the content related to a specific deployment. All right, so that's this is then the application pipeline report and the content report. Now, if I wanna see an overview of my productivity, we can go to the dashboard. In this particular case, we have one recently executed deployment or, or release, and we can see what happened with it. How many automated tasks were there? There were three of the four were automated tasks. 
how much time did we spend in those automated tasks? And obviously, they, for our case, they were very short. And how many failures out of all those tasks did I have? And if I was doing this, by the way, across many, many releases, many, many applications, this would begin to give me a, a great picture of what my release and deployment environment was like. Now, you'll notice that in this particular view of my dashboard, I have three different widgets involved. I have the release productivity widget here. I have the release idle time widget. And I have a widget here for my to-do. So that if I had pending tasks that were waiting on me to do something, I could see what those were. But that's not all that's available. Over here on the left is the ability to see that we have five different actual real-time widgets and an optimization widget, which is our re release productivity widget, which is what we see here. So some of these are already added to this view, and some could be added if I had need for them. So not only can I add to this particular dashboard, but I could actually create an additional dashboard that may be different from this. And so you can hone in on exactly the kind of information that you're interested to see using these dashboards. And, and all of the widgets in the dashboards are a little bit different in what they do and how they behave. And they actually can be moved around quite easily on the screen. You can see this one is actually interactive so that because I could be seeing many different releases in this one widget, it gives me to see additional details as I drill into that particular piece of information. So that gives you an overview of our dashboard.